Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of decomposing numbers, specifically how we can do it in words, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So we spend a lot of time in third grade thinking about how we can decompose numbers in expanded form and expanded notation, but sometimes we need to do it in words. So how can we describe that number 3,560? Well, we can describe it as the sum of and then we can describe it many different ways, right? If we wanted to go straight by place value, right? That three is in the thousands place. That five is in the hundreds place. That six is in the tens place. And we've got zero in the ones place, right? So we could write it out like this. Pretty basic, three thousands. And we'd probably want to put that comma there, just like we've got this comma here separating that period. And then we would just write out in words, five hundreds. And then we'd say six tens. Now, that's the easy way to do it. You know, sometimes that we do it in different ways. How can we rename this six tens in a different way? Well, if we just look at it like this, it looks like 60, doesn't it? So 60 what? Well, those would be 61s. If we want to describe this as 61s, we think about where that last digit is, is in the ones place. So we could say it's the sum of 3,000s still. We could say it's still 500s. But we could now say, instead of 61s, we could say it's the sum of 61s. Because 6 tens right, is the same as 60 ones. If I were to draw 10 rods right here, six of them, right, we know that each of these can be broken down into 10 ones. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Another way to do this would be to take a look at this right here. See that 56 right there? 56 what? Well, once again, 56 and then the last digits in the tens place. So we could draw it out like this, three thousands. And we could say 56, we want to hy hyphenate that. And those are 56 tens because that last digit is in the tens place. Now, how do I know that that works? Well, 10 tens, right? We know that this equals 100 block, right? So that's 100. And if I did another 10 tens, right, that would be 200. So if I did 50 tens, that'd be 500. And then I'd have six tens left over. That's an extra 60. So 560 is 56 tens. Let's look at another example. So we've got 9,202. We could do the same thing, starting first with the basics, right? We could just describe each digit in its place value. So we've got a 9 in the thousands place. We're going to put a comma there. We've got a 2 in the hundreds. And then we'd want to put 2, and not just 2, but 2 what? What's the value? 2 ones, okay? But how do we get a little bit interesting here? Well... Look at that 20 right there. That 20, right, goes to that tens place right there. So we could say nine thousands. We could say 20 what? Well, 20 tens, because it goes to that tens place, right? Because 10 tens makes 100. So we need... 20 tens to make 200, and that's what this is worth, right? This is a 200, and then I still need the two ones. Or we could take a look at this 92. We could say 92, and then it goes to the hundreds, because 10 hundreds makes 1,000, 20 hundreds make 2,000, all the way up to 9,000, and then we still need, at the end, the two ones. But if I were to take 92 hundreds, right, it goes right here to that hundred spot. That's going to be the same as 9,200 is 92 hundreds.